Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining about slush casting process with its applications and various steps is being involved. So let us start with the basic setup that will be used. So just you can see, this is our mold hub. So this mold hubs, it will be hinged and with the application of the ladle, it will be pouring the molten form of the metals. And just you can see that will be inverted and just you can collect the remaining molten form of the metals and you will make a thick hollow castings. So let us start how to make this kind of thick hollow castings without utilization of the core materials. So let us start. Slush castings is a process in which the hollow castings are produced without use of the cores. So that is major advantages of slush casting process to making a hollow castings without core. Then the process is not preferred for producing objects for engineering applications, but it is used to make the objects like status, toys, lamp base, candlesticks and many more, where only the external features of the object are important. So let us start with the various steps that will be involving for slush casting process. So this is our step number one. So basically in this process, the molten form of the metal is pouring into a metallic mold and permitted to remain in mold for short interval of the time. So just you can see with the help of ladle, molten form of the metal that would be pouring into that cavity. Then solidification begins at the mold walls as they are relatively cool and then progressive inwards. After this second step, when a cell of the desired thickness is formed, the mold is inverted and the metal which is still into the liquid state is drained off. So just you can see, now it will be inverted after some time. So still there will be the liquid form of the metals, it will be present. So it will be drained out into the ladder. Then the thickness of the cell obtaining depends on to the time for which the metal was allowed to remain in, into the mold and also the thermal conductivity of the mold. So these all are the dependable parameters. Then as you can see, this is our thick hollow castings. So when the mold halves are separated, a hollow castings with good features on its external surfaces but variable wall thickness is obtained just as you can see into the figure. Some of the advantages of this process. First process is inexpensive. Hollow castings can be made without using the cores. So that is the major advantages of slush casting process. Some of the disadvantages. Process is used for art and decorative works only not applicable for engineering applications. Only low melting point alloys with narrow freezing range can be used. So this is not applicable for high melting point of the alloying metals. I hope you understand this. If you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.